you guys heard, especially from the five moms today, the damage that's been done. And we, we struggle to see where the victim impact statements uh, matter in this process because it really comes down to what's his current mental state, um, what's his insight into his illness, and what's the least onerous thing you can do uh, for him. Somehow in there you have to protect the, the safety of the public. So um, they're, in a, they're in a very tough position, the Alberta uh, uh, Review Board. What I will comment on is the recommendations from the treatment team are showing you the acceleration that's occurring within this process for a guy that killed five people. Their current recommendations, which I hope the uh, review board will uh, slow down a little bit, actually puts them on a faster track to absolute discharge than Vince Lee in Manitoba. Uh, he's at least two years ahead of him if you look at the history of Vince Lee uh, in the news. Um, Vince Lee killed one person, uh, Mr. McLean, Tim McLean. This guy mutilated five people and he's, they're already talking about putting him into a halfway house where he has unsupervised access to Edmonton. I'm not going to lie, I feel bad for the people of Edmonton that we've somehow brought the problem to your, your fine city. Um, the accelerated recommendations are ridiculous to us. Uh, we don't agree with them, obviously and we'll see what the, the board has to say. But in my opinion, the entire system needs an overhaul and we're continuing to work on opportunities um, to discuss with the Federal Justice Department about um, taking away absolute discharges for mentally ill murderers.